The Bismarck Mantan Chamber EDC hosts a program to develop local leaders who actively participate in community progress. And each year, the local leaders present projects to improve the Bismarck Mandan area. KX News' Christina Randall tells us about three projects that are in the works right now. Community leaders gathered at the Bismarck Mandan Chamber EDC to present upcoming projects that will have positive impacts to our communities. Three projects discussed were the Mandan Sledding Hill, a financial literacy program in our schools, and the Blue Light Security System at BSC. The financial literacy project will create an educational platform to allow high school students to gain hands-on experience on real-life financial literacy skills. The value of in-state tuition versus out-of-state tuition, and then we also coupled that with a program called Reality Check, which is a free program that teaches students their expenses. The platform also educates students on the different job opportunities they can take while still going to school. The project sheds light on how many employers will help students pay for the cost of school. A lot of these students did not understand that, that there's employers that have such a demand for some of these roles that they're willing to help with the education costs. The next project discussed was the blue light emergency systems. One group wants to improve public safety and security on and around Bismarck State College's campus by implementing safety and security features like the blue light poles, which can be found on other college campuses like Minot State and UND. Project Blue Light came out of a love for community and recognizing that as we grow, as our population grows, as campus grows, there really is that need to show a commitment to safety and security. Blue Light safety works just like calling 911. Only difference is you would be pushing a button. It would be a direct call to CENCOM who would ditch patch either Bismarck Campus PD between the hours of 8 and 2 or the Bismarck Police Department. And for the last project, a group wanted to make North Dakota winters a little bit more fun. That's how the idea of Mandan Sledding Hill started. The proposed project would create a multi-purpose winter recreation space in Mandan, which could also be utilized for summer recreation. We started off with the idea for a tow rope and tubing hill, but recognized that starting with a designated sledding hill in a larger public space rather than directly within a specific neighborhood would provide a good opportunity um, to provide that space for citizens. The Mandan Parks Board approved the initial phase for the sledding hill with a possible location in Sunset Park. The group argues having a designated sledding hill will give families the opportunity to have fun in a safe location. Though each of these projects are focusing on different things, the projects all have one thing in common, enhancing the Bismarck Mandan community. For KX News, I'm Christina Randall. I'm going to have to check out that sledding hill. The leadership program provided by the Bismarck Mandan Chamber EDC begins each fall and ends in the spring. Applications for next year's class will be available this summer. For a deeper look at the projects, head on over to kxnet.com.